Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So, today I have an unboxing from you, for you, for those of you who, who, who like those unboxings. Um, this unboxing is from Joann's during one of their sales. I don't remember which one. I always try to hit up sales and then I unbox the yarn. Now, the reason why I do unboxings is I do unboxings for some people just really like to watch unboxings. I personally love to watch unboxings on YouTube. People unboxing their yarns and stuff. And uh, that's some of my favorite YouTube videos. So there's a lot of people that like that. And then um, I do it for those who can't get out anymore or it's hard for them to get out. They like to see um, the yarn up close, what's available in the stores because they do mainly order not online. A lot of people in other countries that don't live in the US, they like to see what's available in the States. And it's just fun to do. So, let's open it up. Because some people ask me, you know, why are you doing boxing? So, this, this is why I do them. Plus, I get yarn um, that I can have future reviews on and stuff. Now, let me think. I think a lot of the yarn that I got from Joann's, I've never had, this time, I've never had before. Now, I can't say 100% certain that that's the case. But, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right... It was all yarn that I hadn't got that I've got haven't got before. So I got this box, a smaller box, and then a little bag. They shipped it in three separate orders. That's, I'll be careful with this box cover. I promise. I'm not even getting it. There it is. I wasn't even getting an increase of the box. I'm super excited to open it. I get really excited opening yarns like a kid in a candy store. can't see anything it's full plastic okay let me set it on the floor so I can get to it easier so this is okay there's a little story behind this this is their buttercream luxe craft now this is a Joann's house brand which means that it, it's Joann's own brand when I saw this online it was regular $15.99 or something, and I, they had it on sale for $5.49. Now, me, I didn't read the description for some reason. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's that jumbo number seven yarn, because I've been wanting to make a blanket out of that. And that's a really good price, $5.49. I'm going to order it. So I ordered like, I don't remember how many I ordered, eight or so of them. And then I real after... <laughs> I already ordered it. I went back and read it and I realized that it was a jumbo number six. So it's not going to work for my blanket, but it's still a very, very pretty, I think. It's a roving style yarn. And if you're not familiar with a roving yarn, what it is, it, it's not plied up separately. It's like just one solid s spun yarn. As opposed to some yarns have like the plies twisted. Roving yarns are kind of solid. And roving yarn is my favorite. So this is 50% superwash. I guess merino. I don't know. Don't smell like it. This says 50% superwash. 45% acrylic. 5% uh, viscose. Yeah, that had to, that had to be merino. 87 yards. Okay, I'm going to try to get everything that everybody asked me to say. It's 87 yards, 7 ounces, 80 meters, 200 grams. Recommended hook size is a 9 millimeter. It's classified as a super bulky number 6. Kn knitting needle size, I'm sorry. Recommendation is a 10 millimeter. Machine wash. Do not bleach. Do not dry clean. Do not tumble dry. Whew. One more. Where is it made? Where is it made? I gotta get that one in there. Made in Turkey. Okay. <laughs> Everybody wants to me to say different things and I gotta try to remember everything. So basically I just try to read out the whole label. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Now they have lots of colors. I just thought this pink with the flex in it was so pretty. It's nice and soft. Not itchy at all. Yeah, you can tell it has wool in it by looking see the little hairs and stuff. Plus, roving yarn looks like that. You know, it's kind of fuzzy, too. It is a, about a perfect number six, I would say. I like it. So, 87 yards. Uh, I don't have my receipt, but I remember paying $5.49 for it. And it was regularly like $15.49 uh, or $15.99 or something. So, I got some of these. 
Now, me making a blanket out of it was what I was going to do because I initially thought it was a bulky seven, but it's not. So, I'm going to do something with it probably. What? I don't know, but I got, I got a lot of it. So, it's very pretty. Sorry, forgot to tell you the color. This one's called Blush Multi. There are a lot of pretty colors in it. Okay. And then I got some of their buttercream luxe craft roving yarn and i remember this was on sale for like 229 i think a skein at the time i love roving yarn it's 100 percent wool nice 115 yards 3.5 ounces, 105 meters, 100 grams. Recommended knitting needle size is 6 millimeter. Recommended crochet hook size is 6 millimeter. Classified as a bulky 5. Indeed, it is a bulky 5. Machine wash. Do not dry. Of course, you wouldn't want to because it's wool. I guess unless you wanted to felt it. I don't know how well it would felt, but... Um... Made in Turkey, 100% wool. The color is called Orchard. Ain't that pretty? Now, roving, this one is, it's not itchy or anything, but it is, it's wool, so, you know, it can be a little stiff, but and this would make a really pretty hat. When I say the yardage was 115, it would probably take two of them for me to make a hat, maybe. Not all of two, of course, but I like it. I have a, some other roving yarn down there not this brand but it looks exactly the same that i might put with the different colors all right now this one i like i did have they have had this one before um this is the red heart gemstone yarn very pretty yarn i have a scarf tutorial that i made out of this only in a different color i'll put it on the screen right now in case you're interested um it's the Red Heart Gemstones. I got it again to make another scarf. It's very pretty. 7 ounces, 200 grams, 312 yards, 285 meters. Recommended crochet hook size is a 10, no, I'm sorry, a 6 millimeter. It says three balls will make that blanket. Oh, three balls of each. Yeah, that's more like it. I was, I was thinking, I'm like, I don't know if three balls are going to make that blanket. Okay, yes. A lot more than three balls. Okay, made in Turkey. It's a bulky number five, and it is a perfect bulky number five. In case you didn't know, bulky number five is my favorite. The recommended knitting needle size is a six millimeter. Machine wash, tumble dry on low. 100% acrylic So yes, I have had this before like I said, I made a scarf out of it This is the emerald. They have lots of beautiful colors. It's very hard to choose which colors that you want But I really like that one. I think if you get this you'll be uh, You'll like it You know, it's it's just a, it's an acrylic yarn. It's not stiff or nothing and it's not like super soft, but definitely you could wear a uh, a face mask out of it or something that wouldn't bother you but I like the way it's twisted up with different colors like that red heart gemstones and let's see now I got this new care on simply soft I haven't had this one before this is the care on simply soft speckles see that that is pretty stuff I like care on simply soft a lot some people don't like it because they have trouble with it splitting I really don't my, I really have trouble with it but if you're not familiar with it we'll go over it care on simply soft it's made by yarn inspirations um, made in India medium weight number four knitting needle size five millimeter crochet hook size these are only recommended um, a five millimeter machine wash and dryable 100% acrylic 235 yards 215 meters five ounces 141 grams feels weird saying all that stuff but people ask me to so the color of this one is called a snapdragon that is very very pretty 
Caron Simply Soft is very soft yarn. I actually got this one to make a baby dress with. I make a lot of my baby dresses with the Caron Simply Soft. And this, since this is a speckled, I had never had it before, but look at that knitted pattern on it. That looks pretty. Of course, it'll look different in crochet, but it should be pretty. So I got three of those to make a baby dress with. Not a dress for my daughter, just a regular uh, size baby dress. Very pretty. I got some purples today in that for some reason. Okay, then I got a bag here. Let's see what's in this bag. Not too. <clears throat> okay, this is a uh, Lion Brand cobblestone yarn. I've never had this. Um, it's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 219 yards, and 100 meters. It is 100% acrylic, machine washable, and dryable. It's soft. It's twisty. See that? It's twisted up with white and, and orange. The color I have is called Monarch. It's classified as a medium four. It seems to be a medium number four. I like it. It is really pretty. 219 yards per cake. I haven't even been telling you the price of this stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm horrible. I know this was like $4.49, I think. I don't honestly remember. <laughs> I don't know where my, my receipt is either. Just a minute. I'll look in this other box. Okay, it doesn't this doesn't tell the prices, and I, I got them all on sale anyways. But this is uh, the cobblestone. It's very pretty. I like it. Feels, you can tell that it's twisted, but it's, it's nice curly yarn. Good enough for scarves and stuff. Very pretty. So I got two of those. And this was a new yarn that someone told me about that I've never seen anywhere other than Joann's. Not saying that it's not anywhere else other than Joann's, but it's the only place that I've ever seen it. It's the Lion Brand Shimmery. Shimmery yarn. I like shimmery yarn. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. So it's 3.5 ounces and 100 grams. 219 yards, 200 meters. Machine, washable, and dryable. 99% acrylic and then 1% of uh, other, which is the metallic, made in India. Now, it's a bulky five. You know what this looks to me to be like? It, it looks like it's scarfy yarn, Lion Brand scarfy yarn, with metallic in it. And that's what I think it is, actually. I don't have any scarfy in this color to compare it to. But that is, if I had to guess, I would say they used their scarfy yarn, they added that metallic, and then they rolled it up in cake form and gave it a different name, which is cool. I like scarfy. Scarf Lion Brand Scarfy is one of my favorite yarns. So, you know what? I don't think scarfy is 100% acrylic. I actually don't. I think scarfy has wool in it. It does. Okay, so it wouldn't be exact because this is 100%, almost 100% acrylic. Scarfy does have wool in it. But man, it looks similar. Similar colors too. They have one that's almost the same color. This color of this one is called Supernova. So 219 yards. I got two of these. Very pretty. I like this one a lot. And I think I'm going to make a hat out of this and possibly a smaller Maybe some wristers. I don't really like to make wristers because I have to make two of the same thing. But I think that would be pretty. Now that uh, sparkle that you see in there, that's not at all itchy. S sometimes metallics can be itchy. This one is not at all. I like this one. So far, this is probably my favorite one. Of course, I love brown and I love sparkly yarn. So uh, it's, it would be natural for this one to be my favorite. Um, there will probably be something really soon made out of this. <laughs> it's really pretty. Wow. I didn't know I liked it this much. They had a lot of pretty colors in it too. I can't remember the price offhand. Gosh, I wish I would have had. I know I got everything when they were having a big sale. So That is very pretty. 
Mm. So Lion Brand Shimmery. It's a must if you like scarfy yarn and sparkly stuff. That's beautiful. My favorite so far. Okay, now I got this other box. I just opened it a little bit to see if it had a paper in it. And the paper in it was... Didn't have the glasses on it. That's my luck. Oh gosh, come on, Crystal. Oh my, what is in here? Okay, I've never had this before. Red Heart Stellar Yarn. Now I know that it's been around for a while, but honestly, I've never had it. It appears to be like homespun. You know, Lion Brand Homespun with sparkles in it. It's really pretty. I don't know why I got so much purple stuff this time. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I got to get a lot of purple though. That's pretty. It does. It's just a, it's a, just like homespun yarn, but it's got sparkles in it. I'm not a big fan of homespun, but this one's pretty with the streamers running through it. So Red Heart Stellar is there's 80 yards in here says it takes uh eight balls to make a blanket i can see that uh, made in the u.s of imported fibers um the color i have is called deep space it's a, classified as a bulky number six and it's machine wash in lay flat 99 acrylic 1% other, which is the metallic. 80 yards, 73 meters, 4 ounces. I like it. It's nice and soft and squishy. You know, it's just, if, you, if you're familiar with Lion Brand Homespun, it's identical, except for the streamer through it. That makes something really pretty. What do you think? I think I'm wanting to think that I paid $4 and something for one, each of these. Remember though, I bought some of this. I bought it when it was on sale, so. Okay. This is patent. I'm almost done. I just got it. Um, patent's hemp, hempster. Now I know this was not. Let's see. Hmm. That is stiff. That's bag making yarn right there. Okay. Yarn Inspirations Patent Hempster. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. There's 190 yards or 174 meters. 55 hemp, 45 cotton, made in China. The color I have is called Deep Ocean and it's classified as a lightweight three hand wash lay flat. It is it's stiff like um i figured that it would be because i've worked with hemp before straight hemp and it's super stiff but this has about added cotton in it so i wasn't quite sure but yes this is something that you would want to make a bag out of i think yeah that's what it shows on the picture a bag shows a bag on this one too definitely bag making yarn um it's not anything i'd want to wear truthfully it's a it's a pretty nice yarn and it was it just a second here okay these run regular 649 but i do believe when i bought all my bought a lot of my yarn it was 20 percent off some of it was on sale too at the time so but yeah i like it i do but i i knew that it was going to be stiff yarn that it would be good for bags it's a pretty color did i say that deep ocean so I got two of those. And let's see what else I got here. Okay. Now this is. It's a brand that I've only seen at Joann's. I'm not saying that's the only place it could be. But the brand is called Fair Isle Quality Yarns. This is their Liberty 400. I brought it up on my screen. So. What it is, it's um, it's a medium weight number four, 100% acrylic yarn. 
So it is like a regular acrylic yarn, probably trying to be comparable with all the other regular four weights on the market, such as Red Hard and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so there's 706 yards in this big skein. 14 ounces or 644 meters. So 706 yards, machine wash and dryable of a medium weight number four. Very, and it regular is $6.99. Um, it's on sale right now for $5.49, for $5.59. I think that's might've been, I might've paid cheaper than that actually. That didn't, I thought I paid four something for it. But, 706 yards. I really think... It's not a bad deal. You know, I would compare it to... You know what, I have another color of white in here. Let's fill them both, because sometimes the dyes in certain colors can make them. It's comparable to Red Heart with Love, probably. Seems a bit softer than Red Heart. So, it's, you know, it's not a bad yarn. Actually, it's a big old ball of yarn. And when you can catch it on sale, 706 yards is, that's, it's a good price when you catch it on sale. Actually, I might get some more of this and wait for it to go on sale. This collar is called Blossom, and this one's called Cloud. I'm not sure what I intended on making with it, but 706 yards is a generous amount. Um for five or six dollars I don't think that's bad and I think if you wait I know I, I know I paid for something for mine so but it was over yeah it's similar to Red Heart maybe just a bit softer but as with most 100% acrylics it will soften up after the wash I like it well, I've, seen, I've seen it on her side a whole bunch and I, I wanted to give it a try. I'm actually kind of surprised at how big of a skein it is. I mean, I, I read 706 yards, but you don't really picture the skein size until you get it. But yeah, I like that. Yo, know, it's 100% acrylic made in China. For anybody that asked. I think I went over everything else. So I got two of those, a pink and the white. Nice. I get some more of those. I'm almost done here. Okay, so this one is a little bit of a disappointment because I know that it wasn't cheap, cheap yarn. It's tiny. I expect you never really know what you to expect. I expected a, a bigger skein than this, but let's look at it. Um, I can't even pronounce the name of that. I'm not gonna butcher it. But I've seen it on Joann's. This is the Tweed brand of it. Hmm. So it's 53% acrylic, 30% wool, 12% polyamide, 5% mohair, 93 yards. Huh. Made in France. So that's neat. This might be the first yarn that I've had that I've held that was ever from France. Maybe not, but that I know of. So, it's, it's, it's pretty. I like tweed. I like the colors, because I like earth tone colors. Um, did I say what weight it was? It says it's a medium four. I would agree with that. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I know I read the yardage and everything, but just when you see it in person, you think that it's going to be bigger than that. I guess I can't be disappointed. It's only my myself. I knew that it wasn't going to be very much yardage. But it does have a wool in it. It does have mohair in it. Not really a lot, but uh, it feels okay. You know, you could wear a scarf out of it, but you can tell and see the wool and the mohair in it. The hair is sticking off of it. So I got two of those and these run $8.99 a piece. Now I didn't pay that. I didn't pay that. They were on sale when I bought them. I was still hesitant to buy them at the time because um, 
they were so much but I wanted to get them just to show them on YouTube so everybody could see what they were about now even though it's a very gorgeous yarn and I'm sure that it's worth what they're asking um, this is not a yarn that I would buy again because of the price but it's still very pretty don't get I me mean, don't get me wrong it's a higher end yarn you can tell Ain't nothing wrong with higher end yarns but I probably won't be buying this one particular one again I doubt it unless it goes really cheap it's just the yardage isn't isn't really it's beautiful but not beautiful enough for me to go again again for it but at least we got to look at it and try it it is pretty though but you know for those of you who like to hire in yarns and stuff I mean I like them too but I just don't buy them all the time this would be something you probably like I like it it's gorgeous I just think it's kind of pricey but that's just I can't say I'll never buy it again but maybe when it's on sale we'll see because it is very pretty it is very pretty and they have in that brand they had a whole all a bunch of different kinds they were all really pretty but they were all kind of expensive in my and you know I thought it was kind of expensive okay I got one last kind here Bernat Softy Baby Stripes now I've never had this before not not to my knowledge I mean it's possible but okay it's um a lightweight three machine washable and dryable 100 percent acrylic 287 yards tested for harmful substances it says five balls will make that corner to corner blanket right there um made in india recommended hook size is a four millimeter it's soft I like it let's look at it so it says it's a three weight I would agree and you know it's a heavier three it's thicker than mandolin yarn it's pretty the color is over the rainbow stripes ain't that pretty I actually got um four of those to make something with I, I don't know if I will the only downside to buying cakes online is you can't match up what the centers and stuff like you want but that's what color controls for I guess well I like to match up my centers I don't know if anybody else does okay these are regular $5.99 but like I said I know I, I got mine I think I had like 25% off I can't remember but 287 yards I like it I think it's very pretty make a really pretty striped blanket I mean I've had Bernat softy before but I never had it caked formed and striped like this this is the first time I ever had it like that it's nice to stop though one does I even say what it was made of or anything 100% acrylic yeah so yeah I like that one that's very pretty so that is my Joann's haul I like all of it I do this stuff is my favorite only because this is brown and sparkly I think these are gorgeous I can't wait to make something out of those um, I do like everything I got this is very gorgeous like I said it's just a bit pricey but everything else was pretty nice and I'm gonna get some more of these I think these are a good value nice uh, Kind of, you know quality four weight 100% acrylic yarn I think you know especially for people that like to do charity work and you know it's some soft and it's nice and soft enough for that and I don't have a problem with it so I like it I'll probably get some more colors that's it that's my Joann's haul I hope you guys had a good time I didn't drink much coffee before this one, so I wasn't real hyped out, but, but anyways, I showed you some pretty yarns. I got plans for some of it, not all of it. Some of it, I don't know what I'll do with it yet, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.